With the new M1 MacBooks having only two USB ports and the Air not even having a fan, the Intel MacBooks used to struggle with an external display, especially the Intel MacBook Air that used to just have its fans on full blast. But how do these new M1 MacBooks handle with everyday tasks with an external display? Hello everyone, my name is Mike and here at Tech Carmoon we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. But today I'm going to find out how the M1 MacBooks, mainly the MacBook Air, handles an external display with let's say an external SSD plugged into it to simulate a normal desk setup. I will be doing other performance tests so make sure that you hit that like button if you want to see those videos as I've got a lot of content planned on these new M1 Macs. So let's speak about the setup that I've got going on here, which might be typical in a sort of standard desk setting. So I've got the base MacBook Air, so, that, so that's the eight core CPU and seven core GPU model with eight gigabytes of RAM. I've got a 1080p monitor set up to the side and that's connected via a dock with power. And then I've also got a Thunderbolt uh, uh, SSD as well. So this is a nice fast SSD connected. So we're really trying to sort of push the, the port or the two only ports that's available on this. I've got activity monitor open just over here so we can see things like CPU and memory and see how the performance is of each one. And in terms of the applications that I've got running, as you can see, I've got Google Chrome, which is a native application and I've got about 10, 15 tabs open just over here. And then we've got Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote, as well as Finder apparently as well. And this is all running uh, on the Big Sur OS as well. So let's just see how this all plays back. So this is playing back in 4K and we'll keep an eye on CPU usage. Okay, let's just flick around. Let's go into full screen mode. So what I'm trying to do is, is really sort of see where the, the lag is on the external display. And let's play some YouTube music as well. So we've got YouTube music playing in the background. Okay, let's have a look at Twitter. I'm always on Twitter, especially lately. If you're not following me, by the way, follow me on uh, at, at Tech Car Moon. And that's where I am. So if this is what you might be doing. You might have a you, you know YouTube video playing and then you're sort of switching between sort of different tabs and sort of working through. And again, typing's not really gonna be an issue. I'm just gonna, you know, pretend like I'm typing for, you know, five, 10 minutes. But as you can see, just on this screen over here, our CPU usage just isn't even hitting 50% when connected to an external monitor. And as you can see, RAM usage, not really much at all. So with all these applications running in the background, so let's just play. So I think when we're using YouTube and stuff, the RAM sort of kicks in a little bit more. But again, I've got quite a few tabs open, even when I sort of start playing two videos at the same time. And we go back and have a look at CPU usage, it spikes up a little bit, but again, nothing I would worry worry about. And let's just pause that. Let's have a look and see how the memory usage is. So no issues with memory, no issues with CPU usage. So we'll pause and play. So we'll just see how that is. No issues at all. We can play. This is all in 4K, plays back. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. So genuinely can't see a problem. Let's go to some tech blogs. Okay, so this is Business Insider. We've got Wired. Let's, uh, I know, click on this, for example. Let's see how the CPU usage is. Let's refresh a couple of these pages. So refresh, we got The Verge. So lots of uh, images and we'll scroll down. 
And again, CPU usage, no problems whatsoever. Memory usage, no problems whatsoever. So if this is the kind of thing that you're gonna be doing, honestly, I wouldn't worry about it. Everything that pretty much you can throw at it in an everyday setting, so that's Chrome and Microsoft Word, which isn't optimized for this MacBook. It is running through Rosetta 2. Um, this is the typical sort of strain on the MacBook and it's nothing at all. And if I just feel the MacBook, it is not hot whatsoever. It genuinely isn't. Let's feel the bottom of it. Yeah, that's that's not hot at all. Flicking through, doing this kind of thing every day, you're, you're gonna be more than fine with it. So I tried to connect another display, but unfortunately I was only able to connect one display to the Mac, which means that if you're running a two display desk setup, then these aren't the Macs for you. Both the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro didn't work, which is a shame because the old model used to be able to connect two displays. The performance when running a second display didn't take a hit from my tests and the MacBook Air, which doesn't have a fan, stayed cool to the touch throughout the whole thing. I've actually had this set up for the last day or so and using this with several programs just worked beautifully. It is a stark difference to the Intel MacBook Air, which used to have the fans on full blast when you connected one display and to be honest, you couldn't connect two displays on the Intel MacBook Air. It just didn't work well at all. So if this was worrying you and you connect up an external display for work, for example, using these types of applications, the base MacBook Air will be plenty and I wouldn't upgrade to the 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if you need a little bit more storage, I would actually recommend you grab yourself an external SSD as you'll get a bit more storage for your money and there'll be plenty fast enough for your needs. I'll leave some links down in the description below to some of my recommendations. But there we have it. As always, Always, this is a discussion so please leave a comment down below on what you thought about these tests and check out the links in the description to support the channel if you haven't already please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tech Carmoon drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more but if you want to see more from me right now you know what to do click on one of these two videos both of them are fantastic as I always say anyway everyone look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one bye